As the lawyers dug into the Sandy cases, they made a shocking discovery. The FEMA-run National Flood Insurance Program appears riddled with widespread cheating. Thousands say they have become victims again. Evidence that several engineering firms the insurance companies were using may have committed fraud. A big-time Texas attorney, Steve Mostyn, had joined hoteling in the fight. These are notebooks that were used at some of the hearings that we had. And this one here. The lawyers found engineers who said their managers changed their reports without them knowing about it. This is the original first this report. This is the original report. This is what the engineer tells him out at the house. The physical evidence observed at the property indicated that the subject building was structurally damaged by hydrodynamic forces associated with the flood. And then we go over here, and it says, the physical evidence observed at the property indicated that the subject building was not structurally damaged by hydrodynamic forces. Not flood. Right. Same report. Same report. Same engineer, supposedly. I'm talking about a process where a person who never went to the house, never saw the house, never discussed with the original engineer, changed the report. Engineer. The engineering companies accused of fraud wouldn't talk to us, and neither would insurance companies involved in the lawsuits. This here it says. But both argued in court that the reports had been changed through a standard peer review process. But as the lawyers dug deeper, they uncovered another suspicious pattern. This is the conclusion, but the observations, right? Mm -hmm. Is as if they what the observations are what they see at the house are identical. Okay, in report after report after report. And every one of them says long-term differential movement, not structurally damaged. Long-term differential movement, not structurally damaged. The lawsuits focus attention on what would become the most movement, controversial exclusion in flood insurance. Long-term differential movement, not structurally damaged. Long-term differential movement. It was the same exclusion Quinn's insurance company used to deny coverage for his foundation. Why do you think so many people alleged and felt that they had been underpaid? I think that the National Flood Insurance Program has been under attack since Ka Katrina. And I think that they thought that if they didn't protect this pot that they had, if they went deeply into debt again, there would be a push to end the National Flood Insurance Program. And for some of these companies and some of these lawyers and some of these engineers, that's how they make their living.